Hey, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be telling you six things you need to do before you start that video creation processes for you not to waste your resources, your time, and your precious energy for you to achieve your better results. Follow me to the end of this video because I'll be sharing a bonus with you. The four things you need to do for you to create a viral video that will rank high on YouTube and Google. Follow me as we dive in. Majestic Digital World Bringing your imaginations to reality. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Six things to do before starting a video production process. One, know your audience. You can only have an effective video content if the, vid if the video message resonates with the target audience. That is, you need to understand what your target audience wants first before creating the video content. This is where audience personas can help you. Audience personas, which can be sometimes called bias personas, are semi-fictional representation of your ideal audience. They are semi-fictional because even if each person doesn't exist in real life, their, their characteristics are based on people's real characteristics. You can use Google Analytics to determine the demographics of of the people who accesses your site, who checks your content. Check your database to see what type of people check your content and know the type of content they consume, then create the content towards that site. The more you find out about your audience, the better you serve them. Two, set a budget. Once you have the type of video to create, the next one should be for you to know the, the budget. If you do not set a budget during a pre-production, you end up spending more than what is required. The budget here has to do with getting the right equipment, paying for the actors, paying for your voiceover attics if there, if there is need, getting the right location and getting everything that is required for the production to come out good. So all these things required money. That is where the budget come in. Then after you might have gotten the budget ready, the next thing is you write and revise your script. Once you have estimated your initial cost, create a script for the production. Ask yourself these few questions. What is the purpose of this video? What is the action you would like the audience to take. What value is the video bringing to your audience? What are your distribution channels? Let's take for example an explainer video. These are the questions your video needs to answer for you to get a very good production. 1. Video purpose. To explain how the product is the solution to the target audience problem. 2. Desired audience action. Sign up for a free trial. Three, values of video to the audience. Better understanding of the products. That is the value that, that is the value that the audience will get from your explainer video. Because it will make them to understand the product better. How to use the product, how to take care of it, and how to do a whole lot of things with the product. So if your video is not answering these questions, you're not getting what is required. The fourth question that you need to answer is the distribution channel. The distribution channel has to do with the place that you are distributing the content, such as the company website, YouTube account, Facebook page, etc. Keep these answers. Keep the answers of this question at the back of your mind as you create the script. Your script doesn't have to be complicated. It has to be as simple and as educative as possible. Consider the language you use in your script. 
the word you use and the tune would depend on your target audience for example if you're targeting a millennials you might use fun words and casual words but if you're talking to professionals you need to create a script that commands authority importantly learn to proofread your script before production to the fourth steps of what you do before making a video decide on the optimal video length deciding on the runtime of the video before you start will really do you no harm bearing in mind that the runtime of every video is dependent on the distribution platform according to hubspot if you are planning to create an ad video on youtube it is best it does not exceed two minutes moreover the ad has to hook people within the first five seconds of the video the fifth the fifth step make a storyboard this is the visual representation of your planned video content it serves as the guide once you start the video production process when you already have a visual guide when shooting since you are more efficient and you don't waste time and resources here are the steps to creating a storyboard make a short list to determine how each element will be positioned in the frame pay attention to to the angles too make a rough drawing of how each shot will look like three include details indicating which elements will be moving on each shot if there is any four add context it helps to add a bit of context below each frame so you won't forget your vision once you start the video production processes the last but not the least that is six steps create a production schedule let's say you have gotten your script and storyboard ready now it is time to create that production schedule the video production schedule shows the entire video production processes over time so it's so it tells everyone involved what scene will be shot on a specific day what equipment will be used and people that are needed on those days it is basically a guide for everyone involved in the video production processes see a sample below Everyone in your production team should be on the same page about the schedules because even one day delay can result in you missing missing important deadlines that will mean more time and resources. In conclusion, businesses can no longer shun video marketing. With videos, you can reach more audience to promote your product and achieve other marketing goals. Videos are effective marketing tools because they are engaging and can powerfully tell a story. They are, however, several things you need to do before you even press that record button and create your next marketing video content. Don't forget to follow these six steps. 1. Know your audience. 2. Set a budget. 3. Write and reverse your script. 4. Decide on the optimal video content length. 5. Make a storyboard. Then 6. Create a production schedule. Remember, behind any great video, there is an excellent strategy. Follow these steps and your subsequent video production processes will go smoothly and your results will be rewarding because your final video content will help you reach your marketing goals and by extension, your business goals. If you are still watching us to this moment, I thought you might consider subscribing to this channel to be able to see content like this. And don't forget to write in the comment section how useful this video is to you and to your brand and also the, write in the comment section the next content idea you want me to create for you if you are still watching us to this moment i promise to share a bonus of the three things that you need to do for you to make your video rank top on google and youtube follow me as you take that part basically every video creator or content creator 
has this inno- has this enormous desire for their content to go viral on YouTube. The viral here means a whole lot of things to a whole lot of people. It can be 10 million views to some people. It can be 10,000 views to some people. Then to some group, it can be a hundred or a thousand views. But these are the three. But these are the three basic steps that you need to follow for you to achieve that particular result. One, you need to get a good title and a thumbnail. Getting a good title will make your video to be searchable and accessible by audience who are searching YouTube and other on Google because YouTube is the second largest engagement platform after Google and they have been owned by the same company. So you getting a good title and an eye-catching thumbnail will really make your video to be searchable on YouTube. Then while making your thumbnail include arrows, abstracts and emotions, try as much as possible to use red arrows or red cycles to indicate something on your title or thumbnail. It really draws attention. Two, specifically ask your audience to share your video because this will really skyrocket your video and make them like and comment. Third one, name your video what you want it to be called right from the editing app because it will really help the search engine post push it fast. Make the first two lines of your description to be as eye-catching as possible because that is what will show once they open up any particular video that you made. Three, use a Google key search. Use Google key search to know how many times a word have been searched on your on Google or YouTube and use search words with a high click through rate and high searching engagement more on your key on your keywords for you to increase searchability on YouTube. The fourth one, make your video as interactive as possible to increase your chance of getting rank on Google. Please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel turn on the notification button so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever i post this video and comment using the comment section if this video has been really helpful to you and your brand and don't forget to tell us the next idea that you want us to post this is majesty from majesty digital world stay jiggy till we meet again thank you